What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Counting Wisdom Podcast. Um, I wanted to talk about today, um, maybe it is a test. You know, that's the title of the message. Also, um, if you get a chance, you can subscribe to this channel um, and uh, hit the notification bell so you always know when I'm posting new videos. I have some changes coming to the channel. Um, I'm going to be, uh, my goal at least is to put out more edited content. So to have more videos that are more professional looking. And so you can look forward to that. Um, and, um, you can also, uh, go to my website, washi.com, W-A-S-H-Y-E.com. And I have a new article up there on the Encourager blog. So you can check out the Encourager blog. Um, and um, I have new articles coming out on there um, occasionally. I wouldn't say it's every day or every week. But I try to uh, really stick with YouTube for the more of a weekly uh, upload but you will see uh, posts on the blog um, every now and again. So anyway, um, <clears throat> today's title is Maybe It's a Test. And so um, I wanted to talk about how sometimes when we're going through hard times, um, God is known to test our hearts. He's known to put us in situations that really show who we are like and I think this is really uh you know an almost everyday occurrence when you think about it you know a person lives a hundred years or so and um it could be less than that it could be a little bit more than that but um God determines our whole entire eternity from those years and it and really he might have it determined before then right um we're told that in scripture um god knows uh who we are before we are even born um there's examples of uh babies in the womb uh like john the baptist leap for joy um when he was uh, in the womb of Elizabeth and Mary was around him. And so um, there are different uh, scriptures that say that God plans things before they happen. And so um, I wanted to just talk about how, um, you know, God is determining a lot of things as we go through them and um, even though we go through test um, we have to realize that God is preparing us for our answered prayer um, I think he's preparing us for uh, different accomplishments that we are going to have in our life um, I think that you know um, when we are praying for things and we want to see change in our life, you know, um, it doesn't necessarily happen in just one day or one hour or one week. I think sometimes it can happen, you know, in a fast way, but I think a lot of times, you know, it happens over time. And, and, and I guess I will just say over time because there's not really a disclosed time um even though there are some parables that kind of give a timeline i know there's a parable of uh the fig tree where jesus uh was t telling a parable about a man in a vineyard and he was looking for fruit on a tree for i think it was two years or so and uh one of the men says you know hey give it another year and we'll see if it bears fruit. And if it does, fine. But if it 
doesn't, then you can cut it down. And so that was kind of a timeline uh, of maybe God gives a person, you know, two or three years or so to bear fruit. But parables are really just, you know, examples to teach bigger truths. It's not necessarily, you know, uh, telling how something is completely exactly like what is said in the parable. But anyway, um, you know, let me just bring this back to what I was getting at in the beginning, which was, you know, maybe what you're going through is a test to just see, you know, how you are going to react to a certain situation. Maybe God is wanting to see whether you are going to serve him continually or whether you're going to make certain decisions or give up or, you know, um, the sin in some way. And so, um, I think God plans our life ahead of time, but I think, you know, we also kind of can see what, what, uh, steps we're going to take in life, depending on how we react to a certain situation. You know, for example, you know, if something is too hard to do, let's say you want to study to be an astronaut or something. Um, well, as you go to try to be an astronaut, you can determine whether you're going to actually become an astronaut based on, you know, how you have reacted to previous situations in your life where maybe you couldn't handle um, the stress or the workload, maybe it was too hard. And so you decide, oh, you know, maybe I'm not going to be an astronaut or maybe you realize that you can handle it. And so you say, I'm going to continue to pursue being an astronaut. So anyway, that's just one kind of silly example. But, um, I think what we can do in a test is to really one look back at how God delivered you before and you know of course this may not be the first complete first time God has delivered you from a situation but maybe it will take some thinking to really um, determine how God has delivered you but um, you can look back and see how God has helped you in a previous situation and I think that can help you determine how God is going to help you in the future um, how God is going to come through for you in this situation that you're in and so um, I think we can really feed on God's faithfulness and realize okay god has been faithful to help me in this past situation and he will also come through in the future situation and so um and in your present situation so maybe what you're going through is a test of your character you know maybe god is trying to uh change something about you Maybe he's trying to get you to turn away from sin. Maybe he's trying to get you to have more love for people or more kindness. You know, um, we don't always know how God is doing something or, or why he is doing something. Because the Bible says his ways are past finding out. You know, for me, I know I have been tested in certain situations when I can, I can just think, in you know in the situation i was like this has to be a test you know this has to be a test for something greater or maybe just a step up from where you're at and you know for example you know if god gives you you know five dollars you know he's maybe testing you how you will use that five dollars you know um i read about a woman that it was really just the title of the article 
but I guess she had been, you know, she used her savings, her, all of her savings to, uh, pay for her daughter's like medical bills. And later on, she ended up winning the lottery of like some, some multi-million dollar lottery. And so to me, that was like a huge kind of sign that like God had his hand in that, you know, I'm not saying to play the lottery, you know, because there's a lot of advice that says that that's kind of a waste of your, um, your money and, you know, a waste of your time. But, you know, uh, I guess it, it may not be, uh, such a, a good example because you know you could ask why was that woman playing the lottery in the first place you know because the lottery isn't necessarily a good way to spend your money but anyway that's just one example to say you know if god is testing you in a certain situation then you know he may be seeing how he can prepare you for what you're praying about you know, maybe you're praying for, you know, something in your life, but you don't have it yet. And so it's really just, you know, um, tugging at your heart. Well, maybe God is trying to see how you handle the situation that you're in. You know, I saw a pretty good message. Uh, I think her name is Heather Lindsay. Um, I don't know if I really recommend her channel, but I know she is a Christian. But, um, you know, I haven't seen enough of her videos to recommend it or not, you know. But anyway, one of her videos that I saw, um, she was kind of talking about the same thing is that, you know, she said that how she reached success was that she had a good attitude in the small things before she got her you know, well, well-known business or before she got the job that she wanted, you know, she said that she was faithful where she was at, where she was planted. And that's the point that I'm trying to make in this, uh, podcast is that, you know, God is trying to see where, how we handle the situation that we're in. And so I think some things that we can do in bad situations is to be grateful. Uh, that is one thing that comes to mind um, is to be grateful for what we have. I know the Bible does talk about be thankful in all situations, you know, that is the will of God for for us is to be thankful in all situations. And so, you know, um, being thankful, being grateful is kind of the same thing. And um, maybe you can't necessarily thank God for being in a bad situation, but you can thank him for the good things that you have in your life. Whether that be a roof over your head, whether that be some some money in the bank, whether that be resources that you have, whether that be just being in a right in your right mind, whether that be having some level of peace or joy or just having the word of God or just being a Christian, you know, realizing that Jesus died for your sins. And I think sometimes we can take that last one for granted, you know, we can think, you know, oh, Jesus died for my sins. Yeah. Okay. But that is a huge gift from God that, you know, we didn't have to work for, you know, I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, Hey, why do we have to kind of work for everything? You know, and why can't we be given something? But at the same time, you know, we were given the gift of eternal life. And, you know, when it boils down to it, all you really do have to do is accept it. Yeah, there are some things that you have to 
kind of um, you have to believe, you know, but there are some actions that you you have to do on your part. But in reality, you're receiving the gift of eternal life from Jesus Christ. And so we didn't have to work for it. God's not saying, hey, you know, if you want eternal life, okay, save up a hundred billion dollars and, you know, you can buy it from me. Or, you know, God's not saying, you know, okay, just help a hundred old ladies across the street or, you know, um, go feed every poor person, you know, in your city and, you know, feed them for a year or, you know, no, he's not saying that, you know, he's, he's just saying, you know, receive the work that Jesus already did for us. And so that was kind of a side note, but, um, you know, I think one thing that we can try to do is be grateful. I think the second thing that we should do, I think is to pray. You know, I, I know personally that sometimes we don't feel like praying, you know, um, maybe we are just, kind of so caught up in trying to figure out the answer to our problem that you know we don't necessarily think you know oh I'm gonna give some time to prayer or I'm gonna give some time to reading the bible you know you know what we think is you know I gotta read this money book or I got to you know uh take this class or you know do something other than you know spend time with God and so you know uh, that's not the case you know because Jesus he taught us some important things about life he said don't worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will put on you know he said that your heavenly father knows what you need before you ask him and when I really read that you know again uh, for I don't know how many times I've read that but you know it really spoke to me that you know I don't always have to enter into prayer and you know list all these things that I need God to know that I need you know he is so involved in our life that he knows he knows what we need but just from the standpoint of him creating people that he knows what our needs are that you know we that we have to have life and so you know to me that was a relief that you know I don't always have to explain to God what I need, you know, and I can also trust, you know, I think the bigger part of that verse is I can also trust that, you know, God is going to supply my need. And, you know, I can say that he is right now, even though I think personally in my particular situation, is that I kind of want to change some of the details of how God is supplying my need. But I can say that, no, hands down, he is supplying my need. And so, you know, I think the second thing we can do is pray. So we talked about the first thing is being grateful. Uh, We talked about the second thing that we can do is pray and spend time with God. Um, I think the third thing that we can do is rest and get our mind off of our particular situation. Even though we may be going through a test, you know, like the title of this podcast is maybe it's a test. And so maybe what you're going through is a test but I think that uh, we can also take our mind off of our particular problem I don't think it's good for us to 
spend the whole entire day looking for a solution, you know, searching and searching and, you know, praying to God in the way of always praying about what you need and, you know, going over your problem to God. You know, I think we need to take our mind off of, you know, the particular problem that we may be facing and you know whether that be watching a good movie going for a walk um listening to music maybe listening to relaxing music um you know reading a book or listening to an audiobook that is unrelated to solving your problem you know um but at the same time jesus did encourage us to seek for answers you know he said seek and you will find and so i'm not saying don't search you know for your solution but also i think there is a point where we also have to take a break and you know realize that god hears our prayers and is working on solutions for us and that they're on the way you know it's like when you buy something and you know for a while it it's not shipped yet but after a while they do whatever they need to do on their end and then they ship the product out and then it takes some time to get to you and so i think that when we pray it's like placing our order you know we hit the buy now button and it goes into work but it takes some time for it to actually get to us and it does take some time for it to ship out too you know they need to prepare it they need to maybe box it or you know uh, add some labels to it or whatever and so God I think is already has what he wants to give us prepared you know the bible says he has prepared good works for us to do and so you know um he has what we need prepared and i think that you know we just have to realize that you know god is going to give it to us when we need it and so um those are some things that i think can address what we're doing when we are being tested and realizing that what you're going through may be a test maybe it's a test you know and instead of thinking that oh you know i'm just going through a bad situation and oh my life sucks and you know i never get anything that i want and my life is always going to be this bad or my life is, you know, always gonna be in this situation, and it never works out for me, and just thinking all these kind of woe is me thoughts, and just thinking all these negative thoughts, you can kind of flip the coin and say, you know, okay, maybe what I'm going through is a test, maybe God is trying to teach me something about my own self that he knows, And so, um, hopefully you enjoyed this podcast today. Hopefully you got something from it. Hey, don't let this be the only thing that you listen to. If you want to study further, um, you can go to my website, but you can also research this topic further on your own. Um, I do have some recommended books. Um, I recommend, um, if you're dealing with a money issue, Um, Managing God's Money by Randy Alcorn. Um, And then um, maybe if you're dealing with a um, uh, it could be, you know, uh, maybe a health problem uh, or a um, kind of housing problem or whatever it may be, I would highly recommend uh in the bible the book of peter um that's the first book that came to mind 
because um, and I recommend also the book of Matthew um, because those two books I think are uh, good the whole Bible is good uh, but specifically hearing the words of Jesus and him talking about life you know I think about that you know out of all the words that Jesus could have said you know and all the words that could have been put in, in put in our Bible you know he chose those specific words for for all time for it to be in the word of God and of course you know we're going to hear more from Jesus once we get to heaven but for this time period you know those are the words that he chose to speak so they must be really important and they must be exactly what we need and so um if you're dealing with a certain situation I recommend the book of Matthew and also the book of Peter first Peter uh, and second Peter but um, anyway thanks so much for um, checking out this podcast and I will talk to you on the next podcast see ya